Hello candidates, uh, good afternoon from Belfast and from Monroe Medical. Uh, here is a short video with the most common questions and concerns we receive from our candidates. Uh, I know that in a current climate uh, in COVID-19 pandemic, many of you uh, send emails, inquiries, they ring Monroe Medical. Uh, we will answer the most common uh, questions and inquiries we receive to help you with HCBC registration process. So first question, uh, how do I get in touch with HCPC registration department? Many of you have forwarded HCPC forms. Uh, many of you uh, forwarded inquiries to HCPC. Yes, we know it is challenging to obtain an update from HCPC, but please be assured you will receive uh, feedback from HCPC. First of all, uh, in the current climate, it's not just HCPC, but many other organizations, agencies, offices, uh, they work from home. Uh, it's mainly to prevent the spread of uh, coronavirus. So uh, phone lines uh, in HCPC uh, office are not always working properly. However, uh, we know from uh, HCPC that they employed uh, many other uh, officials and workers. Uh, so the best way is to forward an email. Some candidates wait two days, some candidates they wait one week, but you will definitely obtain an answer. Uh, with respect to ringing HCPC, as I said, sometimes the phone lines are off uh, or you will need to wait uh, up to one hour to, to get through. And sometimes you, you get through to um, someone who just sits at the desk and answers email, so you wouldn't talk uh, to HCPC assessor. Uh, so from our experience, the best way is to forward an email. Second most common question is about changing surname while applying for HCPC registration. Um, many of you forwarded HCPC registration form and some candidates got married, uh, some returned to the previous surnames because of personal reasons. It's crucial to notify HCPC as soon as possible because if not, uh, you will receive registration uh, on your uh, old surname or sometimes if HCPC assessors will do some checks uh, with respect to your application and let's say they will approach your employer, you have different surname in employment certificate, you have different surname on course information form and different surname on your registrar. So um, notify them via email as soon as possible. Sometimes you will be asked to forward a proof uh, of a surname change that can be a marriage certificate or other legal document, but definitely uh, without uh, any problems, it will be accepted. And the third most common question is about payment link. Many of you uh, ring Monroe Medical and uh, you ask uh, us about payment link. Sometimes payment link is not working. Sometimes it expired. Sometimes it doesn't accept your uh, international bank card. The best way is to, yet again, I, I cannot stress that enough, send an email to HCPC, ask for a new link. It may take a few days, but that's the best way uh, to, to move forward with your HCPC application. If that doesn't work, uh, you may ask HCPC for their bank details. Once you have bank details, uh, these details will never expire. So basically, you can do uh, online transfer, bank transfer, uh, without any major issues. I hope we answer all the most common questions. If you have any uh, concerns, please uh, ring Monroe Medical, please forward an email. Uh, we are an award-winning organization which helps candidates with HCPC registration, work in the UK and practical placements. We help physiotherapists, radiographers, biomedical scientists, social workers, occupational therapists, speech and language therapists, etc. Please uh, view our Facebook, Monika Milczarek and Monroe Medical, our website, monroemedical.co.uk and also our YouTube, Monroe Medical, for many successful stories and wonder wonderful reviews from candidates who completed HCPC registration process through us 
and they are working now in the UK as healthcare professionals. Thank you so much. Have a pleasant evening. Bye bye.